Right, good morning everyone, it's me again, Sid from Partridge Exterior Cleaning, back on another roof job today, quite a large property as you can see on this one, but uh, very nice easy flat tiles. Right, so we're around the back at the moment, as you can see, it's uh, yeah, it's not the worst roof in the world, there's not like a mega amount of moss in it, um, but there is definitely a bit there. Um, access for this one, I um, might have to even stand on that to reach some of that, but I don't know yet. Uh, I'll take you around the front now, because I'm doing something a little bit differently today. Um, which I know some of you will be quite happy about. Right then, so here's the front of the property. Access is all pretty decent. Um, yeah, and good. So what I'll be using today to reach the roof is all of this. So this is a boss scaffolding tower. I've hired this for a week. Um, yeah, to see how it goes and uh, yeah, stop using the ladders. And yeah, everyone keeps moaning at me for, for doing these roofs off ladders, so I thought I'll uh, give it a shot like this today. Now, uh, right, I'll set this camera up for a second. Right then, hope you can see me right. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you, I'm actually quite nervous about this. Um, I've never set one of these up before, so this is a first. Um, before I start, I would highly recommend if anyone does do this, um, to go on a PASMA um, course to learn how to build these safely and efficiently. Um, this is sort of a, a last minute buy-in for me. I've been so busy, I haven't had a chance to go on one of these courses, um, which is no excuse really. Now, it's not a legal requirement um, to go on a course before you order one of these in or hire one, um, but it's highly recommended to be safe. Um, so yeah, I'll try and do a decent video of me building this up now um, before I start cleaning the roof. Hopefully I can build it up all right. Um, but yeah, there might be a few gaps in it and stuff because I'm, I've got the instructions on my phone. So um, yeah, I'm gonna have to keep checking my phone just to make sure that I'm getting everything set up safely. But um, yeah, I'll set sort of a little time lapse up and uh, yeah, just see how we get on. folks that was a bit of a palaver to be honest i was hoping it would be easier than i thought it would um, but i've actually been sent the wrong tower i ordered a uh, me tower for this um, which is what i was researching on what to set up and how to do it and i've ended up having a boss one um, so it was a little bit different for me to set up luckily there was a kind neighbor who's a roofer i believe um, that's just came and just he, he saw me having a bit of a struggle so he came over and helped me out um, so we got it up pretty quickly after that um, but yeah, so I've videoed all that, so I'll be watching that back and sort of seeing exactly what to do next time. But, um, but yeah, no, it's came up all right. It's nice and sturdy. I'll, uh, I'll show you a bit closer. I'll have a quick uh, sit down and a break and then, um, yeah, and then I'll get working, I think. So uh, I will have to probably, I don't think I'm going to get this down the side passage. Um, I think it's just a bit too skinny. So I'll probably try and scrape this and soft wash it and then set up around the back for tomorrow and uh, scrape that and then soft wash that so i just have to split it up into a few parts really but uh but yeah thanks again to the neighbor across the way because i would have really struggled um setting that up by myself i think um so yeah i'll have to just sort of figure it out um because i couldn't even stand up to reach to get the second thing on and i'm, I'm quite tall really so yeah um it's all, all about setting up them little boards in between i think and going from there so yeah i had a bit of trouble but i'll uh, research that a bit and definitely book myself in on a course as well because yeah, I was uh, I was proper struggling a bit then. So uh, right, oh well, it's all part of the job, I guess. But um, yeah, I'll uh, get working now. So I'll see you in a minute.
Right then folks, excuse the haircut. Um, just coming to the end of the first section of the front now, that's all looking great. Um, easiest tiles in the world to clean, so I'm having a, I'm having a blast up here really. There you are, look at that, barely a speck left. Um, See, so yeah, I've got this to do here now. The ground down there is a little bit dodgy, so to be honest, because it's only a short bit, I might just get my ladders up to there um, and then reach that from there. Um, I think moving the scaffold in all on the grass and it's sinking down and causing a mess. I think it's just better off me getting the old trusty ladders out. Um, I've got all of this roof to do still as well. So I'm going to try and get, um, well, I'll definitely get the front done today. Um, 100%. And then if the weather stays dry, I might try and just soft wash this because I will have to take this tower down to get around the back. So um, yeah, it makes sense to me to just get all this side done completely. And then tomorrow I can focus on sorting the back out. But uh, yeah, lovely difference already, if you can see that. Cheers. Right then folks, the time is half two um, and that is all cleaned. Um, yeah, it's all been scraped. There's still, there's a little bit of dust on there that I'll probably uh, brush off, but um, I'm just gonna clean up all of this excess moss now. Um, and then, yeah, I'm gonna, the weather forecast is looking good. So I'm gonna soft wash this front. Uh, the back should be fairly quickly tomorrow. It's just, I wanna give that a good effort to try and build that by myself tomorrow. And um, I know a few people mentioned on a post that some of these diagonals should be facing the opposite way, so they're sort of crisscrossed. Um, yeah, well, as I say, that, that bloke came and helped me, so I just sort of followed his lead, but I'll amend that um, when I rebuild this thing tomorrow. Um, and I think this platform should be a little bit higher up as well, um, judging from what people have been telling me. So I'm gonna have a good read tonight um, and probably book myself in for a course for next month, just so I know I'm doing everything safely, because it's pointless me switching from working from ladders um, you know, to scaffolding towers to be safer if, you know, I might not be doing it the correct way. So I know a lot of people wouldn't really necessarily say that or show that sort of thing, or even admit that they needed help on something, but I'm not here to bullshit anyone. Um, I was like bewildered. I'd revised for a completely different tower. So when that turned up, I was like, how the hell am I going to get this done? Um, so yeah, it's always good to be honest, I think, because if I've struggled with something, I'm sure some of you guys out there have as well, or you may do, so you can learn from my mistakes. Get yourself in on a course just to make sure you're doing everything properly um yeah so yeah right anyway i will tidy this up now um it's a shame because if i was a bit more competent i could have got this all done in one day um which would have been a really good day money wise but um yeah it's going to be two which is fine I've, I've planned for two anyway so but uh yeah i'll clean up and get that soft washed
right then gents, uh, day two now. Uh, half nine in the morning and tower is all built now. I did do a time lapse of the tower, um, but it's quite a windy day today and the camera just blew straight over. I didn't notice until it was too late, so sorry I've missed that. But um, yeah, that was a lot easier um, than it was yesterday. The, uh, the customer came out and uh, gave us a hand getting their stuff up there because um, yes, I know that's on the wrong way around by the way, but that doesn't really matter. Um, yeah, the customer came out and gave me a hand, which is really nice because it is a bit of a pain on your own to be sort of getting, especially these um, sections here, getting them up on your own um, is quite difficult. Um, the bars are fine because you can just hook them over, you know, and sort of take them up as you go. But yeah, these sort of uh, sides, they're, you know, they're not heavy, but they're just quite clunky to sort of try and get up by yourself. Um, so I appreciate the help. So I would recommend if anyone does do this, it is a lot easier with two people. Um, but I think the me tower, which is what this was meant to be, is perfect for a one man. Whereas this one is a little bit more difficult for one person, but it's not like it's impossible. I think it's just, it takes a bit of practice um, and there's a bit of a knack to it. Um, but apart from that side being, it's meant to be on that side, it's the wrong way around, but I don't need to climb that, up that ladder there anyway, so it's fine. Um, yeah, I think this is set up completely correct. I've uh, crisscrossed, Mike was recommended to me in some comments um, on Facebook yesterday. So all these are crisscrossed now. Um, yeah, and looking good. All that's out, I've put three braces on there as well just to make it a bit more stable because it is a little bit windy today. Um, yeah, and I'm in the right position. So enough of me waffling, I'll actually start getting to work and um, yeah, and doing it. It's not too bad on this side. It is literally just gonna be a quick scrape, get any loose bits off um, and then get the bio side on the roof check any finer details if there's any dirty gutter in and stuff like that i will give it a quick wash down um but yeah apart from that we're looking good so i will uh, set the camera up and uh yeah get going Right then folks, I, uh, I hope you can hear me and see me properly. Uh, but that's all done, job's all complete. Uh, I've just got a little bit of pressure washing to do down the side passage there. Um, but that was fun, so that was my first job using a scaffolding tower uh, to clean the roof. Um, yeah, it was brilliant. That's the front of the house today. It's all looking absolutely fantastic. There's uh, these white lichen spots, but they will go over time. Um, so yeah, a few little rundown things. So safety wise, absolutely brilliant. Um, but again, I'd recommend anyone to book on a course or really do their research before getting one. Um, because on day one, I was really stumped and I was thinking, oh no, how embarrassing is this? But that's just the way it goes sometimes when you're doing things for the first time. Um, now, a lot of people wouldn't have bothered showing that. They would have pretended they got the thing up themselves. No worries, happy days, everything was fine. Yeah, smashed it out, mate, easy peasy. But I don't see the point in lying. Um, like I said earlier, I think, um, if I'm struggling with something, uh, there's a good chance someone else will as well. Um, you know, I'm not anything special, I'm not a know-it-all, so uh, just like most people. Whereas if you've never done something before, it can be a bit sort of daunting, a bit scary. Um, you know, it's weird me being more worried about setting scaffolding up than cleaning an entire roof off ladders, but that's just the way that I am because I'm stuck in my ways, I guess. But so from now on, um, I'll definitely be using scaffolding towers for two-story jobs now that I've got the hang of it a little bit. Um, there might be some small ones that I'll just work that ladders up because it can just be quicker um, and especially if there's like an extension below and things like that that I can just hop on. Um, I don't see the point really in forking out 
and getting a big scaffold in for something that I could really easily do in a couple of hours just off the pair of ladders. Um, and it'll still be safe, you know, I've got all the necessary equipment to be safe on ladders, so. But, uh, but yeah, that's, that's about it. So um, thank you all for watching. I don't know, I've no idea how long this video is gonna be. Um, I've got so many clips that I've paused and started and stopped and that I might put in, the camera angles were crap. It's something that I've got to get used to and it was really windy as well, so every time I tried to set my tripod up on the scaffolding, within 10 seconds it would blow it over, so. There's the back as well, I'll turn so around. There's the back, that's all coming up really, really nicely. I let that by the side soak in and have a good time, but uh, yeah, just a few remnants of it now left. But um, yeah, back was a lot easier than the front anyway. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna give this all a quick pressure wash just with the customer's car chair, because I left, quite a, left it quite muddy. So um, a good tip for everyone is always leave the job and the house cleaner than when you started, including the stuff that you're not cleaning. So. Right, hope everyone enjoyed the video. Thank you very much. And I'll see you very soon with another video.